Alright, so here's a quick video on how to install the new Fender Illuminator on your Ninja 650. You want to start by removing the seat, which will expose these four bolts and screws. So on the underside here, under the seat you've got two nuts that you need to undo. And underneath the bike you've got two bolts that you need to undo. So that's what you'll end up with. You, you want to keep the two nuts and these two tabs. And that'll allow you to gently pull down the fender to expose the rear of it all. You want to go ahead and undo these two screws here and this one down the bottom. So here I've got the rear piece of the three piece fender and my number plate off the bike. So next we want to remove this uh, steel frame, that should just come out now. Now we want to remove this light as well. So you just undo the two screws and this cover will come off, exposing, or oh, in a minute. Um, we can undo these rear um, screws as well. Now you want to take out the light globe before trying to push this rubber um, socket through the plastic. Um, with all the other screws undone in the back, this plastic mount should pull off forward once you've taken the, the light globe out and pushed that rubber thing through into the back. Now you want to take these rubber grommets out of the fender and mount them into my fender eliminator. Make sure they're seated nicely inside. That's what you should end up with. Try and keep these uh, cutaway parts in the center here. Now you can go ahead and insert this. Uh, just note the way that it's orientated there with that uh, clip part down the bottom. Do the screws up um, from the back. Now you want to move on to the indicators, which um, if I go back, see these plates here, steel plates, you want to take them off, you don't need them anymore. And that will uh, expose this internal steel plate which fixes the rubber mount in position. So use a screwdriver just in this section here to pop that out of the rubber. Just like that. And then you'll be able to pull the rubber out of the plastic from the other side. Now, inside the rubber, you'll see this screw and this little plate here. We want to keep that little plate while we don't need the uh, bigger ones. This one is important and it'll uh, go on the inside of the new fender eliminator. So once you've uh, unscrewed that little internal plate, you can then pop the rubber mount out and this is all that we're interested in to mount onto the new fender eliminator. So next we want to um, start pulling apart the indicator. Now just note on the left and right side the wire colors are the same so it might be a good idea to say mark the left hand side um, wiring so that you don't get confused later on. This is the uh, number plate light, don't worry about it. Okay, so go ahead and unscrew that uh, rear screw in the back of the indicator. That'll let you take the lens off, which will expose this. And if you push in this little section gently, it should lift up this side, which will allow you to take that um, reflector off. So now once you unplug the um, two wires from the indicator, noting their position, 
you'll be able to pull them through and expose this uh, rubber grommet on the inside. You need to slice that gently so that um, you can peel it off the actual wiring. That'll let us uh, reuse that later with a little bit of silicon. So now here what I've done, instead of cutting the wires and using um, like redoing the wiring, if you just crimp over the um, connectors gently, you'll be able to fit them through the hole that um, is inside the indicator housing and also slip over all the unneeded steel brackets and stuff. So basically what you want to end up with is this here. So now go ahead and fit the um, fender illuminator to the bike. Now you'll need to put all four bolts in uh, but not tightly and um, one or two of them may need to have a slight tap in fit. It's, there's very tight tolerances on all of these. Um, then you want to go and fit the wire through the um, fender illuminator with that steel plate on the inside here so that you can come in from behind the fender illuminator and screw in the um, indicator with that plate on the back of the aluminium here to support it and uh, which hole to go through here just look at your indicator and uh, work out which location pin goes in say here or vice versa and the opposite will be your uh, wiring hole so now it's uh, just some assembly pictures So now this picture is a little deceiving. You should have the wiring already through the hole and then into the indicator. That was my first mistake. So just like that. Now I've reattached the rubber grommet which I'll then uh, feed up into here and just put a little bit of silicon in there to keep it dry. And then you can uh, reattach the reflector and um, put it all back together. You see this uh, little thing here should be on the inside of your fender eliminator. So there it is all back assembled just like that. You can go ahead and do up those four bolts once you're at this stage tightly. Uh, also, when you're assembling your fender eliminator, if it's coming disassembled, which I assume it will be, uh, these six M3 screws in the side, you have to be very careful with um, your tightening up of those. Don't over tighten them, especially these top ones. They're very shallow, so you don't want to go over tightening them or you strip them out. So here are the new screws coming through. They're a little bit longer, but they shouldn't affect anything. And that's about it. So you can't really see, uh, but just in here, that is the area where that little silver tab will be with the screw as well. And that's it.